All right, this one's a big question. So my mom always said we were French and Indian, but the French never came up until I put the into DNA testing. How would I connect with relatives that live in other places? Great. So yeah, if you if you're taking the DNA testing, uh, you know. Sometimes DNA test results for individuals who have French ancestry, it can be confusing because mm -hmm. you say, well, what is France, right? Is France uh, people from Brittany who are very closely genetically associated with the Celtics and uh -huh. the British Isles? Is it people from Normandy? Is it Alsace and Lorraine, which is associated with Germany? Is it the people in Southern France who often have Iberian admixture, right? So mm. sometimes you, you take a test and you say, well, I didn't have any French DNA and it's more, well, well Maybe you did. Maybe you did. And you for it? that, you want to really look at those genetic cousin match lists mm -hmm. to see if you can find some of those, those relatives. And specifically to the question of how would I connect with relatives that live in other places, several of the DNA testing companies actually offer features to sort mm -hmm. your matches based on their residence. So oh, you nice. can, particularly my heritage, mm -hmm. you can filter to say, I only want to see my DNA matches who live in France. Right? Okay. And then you can see, uh -huh. oh, these people are probably related through my French line. Well, you might have some Americans who are you know, expats over there who are <laughs> from your other lines, but um, that will, will be a, an effective filter and strategy mm -hmm. for finding some of those relatives. Um, at 23andMe and at Ancestry, they also have um, resources to be able to uh, put your DNA matches on a map based on their reported oh, okay. residences. And so that's a, another strategy to consider there. Oh, interesting. Okay, so who would have thought? <laughs> I love that.